guys, there's so many things you can do and so many paths you can follow that if you don't want to go to school, you don't have to. So, yeah. And also, I want to say this. I've said this before, but I want to really hammer this home on the Money Monday. Guys, don't fall victim to the entrepreneur porn that y'all see on the internet. Yeah. Right? These guys are over here. Um, laptop lifestyle. I'm in Tulum on my laptop working from here. Ooh. It's a bunch of fucking cap most of the time, guys. Mm -hmm. What they don't show you is that to get to that point, you're up all night. You're building stuff. You're making phone calls. You're uh, trying to get your business off the ground. You're literally grinding. Like, I know y'all see the great podcast studio setup that we have right now. Can we go through the cameras a bit? Mm -hmm. Yo, if I could take you guys with me, I wish I could take y'all with me to when we first started this podcast, how I would be up all fucking night setting up cameras, doing wiring. I didn't know any of this stuff. I, it was all self-taught. Figuring out what cameras to use, what ISOs to use, what lights to get, yeah. what, how to set up the, the video independently, then set up the audio independently so that it makes sense. A lot, if you guys watch our older shows before we had an audio engineer, sound would always be messing up, right? Videos turning off, cameras turning off, I, the lighting being all messed up and stuff like that. This all took a lot of time, trials and tribulations to figure out. Yeah. And I, 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 I again, like literally like flashbacks of like trauma of like all the nights that I sp spent not uh, um, sleeping to go ahead and like make sure the studio was aesthetically pleasing while simultaneously being able to give you a high um, uh, quality content. Even now. Right? And that's just my perspective from doing the podcast. If you're an entrepreneur in another endeavor, you're going to be grinding. You're going to be working all the time. You work way more hours as an entrepreneur than you do as an employee. And here's the other thing too. A lot of these entrepreneurship porn type guys on the internet, they try to demonize and make fun of guys that, haven't, that are employees. There's nothing wrong with being an employee. Okay? Because here's the thing. At least with an employee... You're getting a stable check, you know how much you're getting, and you can go ahead and uh, take that money and save it, and then use it to invest, and then you could become an entrepreneur in your own right, right? Yeah. Because once y'all start investing in real estate, that's a business, guys. You've effectively become an entrepreneur, and you're doing it on your terms. You're taking that earned income from that job, right, that stable job, and you're investing it appropriately. The problem is this. This is where the problem arises. Most people that have a stable job, whether it's government or uh, a good trade job, whatever, y'all spend money like fucking morons so that you end up being addicted to that paycheck instead of thinking okay let me get this money from this stable job save it so that i can go ahead and create something else and segue if i choose to do so y'all don't do that you take the money and you live as if you're a millionaire right you start buying a, that new mercedes you start going ahead and buying some new clothing you start taking vacations you start taking trips no don't do that you have a high paying job, right? You, you got, you're making $100,000, $200,000 per year. Stop living as if you're a millionaire. You need to live like you're making 20K per year. <laughs> Save that money, invest it into real estate, invest it, invest it into assets that pay you back. Then once you start getting that money, then you can go ahead and go on the vacation and do all this other shit. But it's going to do something very powerful for y'all. It's going to give you choice, okay? It's going to give you the option of, okay, I've worked this job for 10, 15 years. I've saved a lot of money. I've bought some real estate with it. I got a good amount of passive income. I got the side hustle. It makes just as much as my real job. Now you're at the four, you're at the crossroads. Do I want to continue to work this job or do I want to retire? That's powerful, guys. That's so fucking powerful because then you decide, do I want to continue to work this job or do I want to just go full all in with my business or do I just want to walk away? I bought my time back. That 15 years that you spent, you're effectively buying your free time back. But when you do that dumb shit and buy a Mercedes, nice sneakers, trip, blah, blah, blah. You're taking time away from yourself and you're basically keeping yourself on that fucking hamster wheel, continuing to work so you can continue to fund a lifestyle that quite honestly, no one gives a fuck. You're spending all this money, right? To impress people you don't care about. For what? Keep it up with the Joneses? It ain't worth it. It's not. There's nothing wrong with working a real job, saving that money, investing it into assets, Become an entrepreneur because once you have a real estate business, you're basically an entrepreneur. And then you decide what the fuck you want to do, right? For example, I'll give you all how I did it. When I was working for the government, right? And we had this podcast going at the same time and I had my fitness business. I made more, a little bit more guys doing the fitness business and the podcast and stuff than I did working for the government. But I loved my job. So I stuck with it. It wasn't until they brought me in and they said, okay, bro, like uh, you're a little controversial, man. You can't be saying all this shit. And then I had to make the decision to leave. But... Thankfully, I saved that money and I was able to walk away, right, and bet on myself. But had I not saved that money, had I not been responsible, had I not been, uh, you know, putting that money away to go ahead and be get better equipment and scale up, I would be in a bad spot. I would have to stay there. Yeah. But I was able to tell them, you know what, I'm going to walk away because I knew that I had the money saved and I could bet on myself. But if you don't have the money saved, you can't bet on yourself. You need that job. 
And then bam, they fucking got you. Gotcha, bitch. Okay? And then next thing you know, you, be, you end up staying a wage slave. There's nothing wrong having the job, but I don't want y'all being wage slaves. Spending money that you don't necessarily have or spending most of your money to do stupid shit that, honestly, you didn't even fucking earn. Save that money. Invest in assets. Get to a point where you're making just as much money from your assets and or your side hustle as you are your real job. Then you make the decision. Do I want to continue to work this job? Yeah. And if the answer is no, cool. Walk away. Retire. Either live off what you're making from that passive income or... Better yet, scale it up and make more money on your fucking terms. But I want you guys to make the decision. Do not fall victim to the entrepreneur porn bullshit that y'all see on the internet where they're working off laptops in Tulum. Trust me, it took them years to get to that point. They're not if showing y'all what it's it real. took if, if it's even real in yeah. the first place. We're here to tell y'all it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to work a real job a lot of the times. I'm not going to sit here and fucking lie to y'all and tell you, no, man, you can have the entrepreneur lifestyle right too, man. Just buy this course. Fuck that shit. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to suffer. Everyone can't be an entrepreneur. And it's not for everybody. And Sorry. there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. The job isn't to be... The, the, the name of the game, guys, is not to become an entrepreneur. The name of the game is to become financially fucking free. Okay? Whether you do that through a career or you do it through entrepreneurship or you do it through a combination of the two, which I think is the best way to do it. Okay? The goal is to become financially free, not to be an entrepreneur. If you had to be an entrepreneur to do so, it'll make it faster, but it's not necessarily the only way. Well said. There you go, guys. Okay.